Hello everyone, welcome back to Gaming with Shoggoths. We are checking out the new free update 2 for Jurassic World Evolution 2. And we're looking at one of the new features right now, which are these pylons with uh, perches on them for the pterosaurs. I think it's pretty cool. I mean, I would love it if they would just make it so they could perch in trees, but... You know, we'll take what we can get. I, you know, they can perch on rocks now. Maybe trees will be in the future. Maybe not. Who knows? But uh, until then, I think these perches are a nice touch. Um, let's see if I can get one to lay. Oh, wait. He's landing. Yep, there we go. They are pretty cool. I dig them. Um, they'll be fun to play around with. You can also place them outside of the... Um, the structure like they're part of the decorations they're not part of like um the dome stuff so i'm wondering if there will be some interesting uses and applications of them in the future perhaps with uh mods or even just using them decorative um or you know if you're allowing your pterosaurs to escape they can have somewhere to perch on outside of the enclosure too um so yeah that'll be kind of interesting to play around and see if we can use them for something other than their intended purpose because that's always fun so uh, this update's got a lot of stuff of course like for me the stuff that i was looking most forward to is the decorations and such and there's also some really great sandbox changes and that's that's you know that's my big thing like since sandbox is pretty much all i do especially for the channel you know i do chaos theory and all that stuff for myself but you know for the channel i mostly just stick to sandbox so i'm really happy to see like sandbox improvements as well as all these awesome new decorations which we are going to go through all right so uh we are going to check out all of the new decorations and props and stuff that are now available they added uh 40 of them i believe so that that's really awesome we've got some more variety i mean i i'd always love more especially in a game where we can't create our own decorations but this is definitely like a great um a great variety that they have given us in addition to the ones we already had um so let's check them out we're actually let's uh i want to try out the new first person mode it is over here on the side above the demolition um button so we'll go to first person mode and you select your start location we'll just start here and um see what happens all right and i'll see the light probably because it's not dark right now um low view control oh so that's like ducking all right high speed will probably make me sick but let's try uh. Oh, that's nice. That's not too bad. I mean, I could probably get myself sick with it, but, uh, <laughs> and, oh, and you can open the map. That's interesting. Cool. And from what I understand, you can also, um, let's see. You can also like open buildings and stuff from this mode. Oh, now we need high speed. Yeah, I can see why high speed is something we kind of need. It does kind of go slow. Chug a little. Um, you're supposed to be able to open it. Yes. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty cool. But you can do that from there. Oh, and it'll just take you out. Okay, I see. I see. Oh, but then it puts you right back in. Okay, that's nice. I like that. I mean, if you want to be in first person like this, then yeah, that's that's pretty cool. I like that. Um. Yes, it's pretty cool. I like it. Okay, let's go take a look at all these um, these new decorations from our new point of view. We've got um, nice new planters. Hopefully, we'll see more of those. Like, I would love to see each of the existing one plant. You know, the plants that we already had in these new planters as well. That'd be really cool. We've got some trees and planters. Now, these are not the individual placed trees. Well, I mean, they are individually placed trees, but these are you know in planters and there are ones that are not in planters so have no fear there and we've got uh really cool just random decorations here we've got um these bits that are from the the restaurants that are now available and that's really cool like they're just nice little decorations it's kind of like a uh you know something your guests could stand under an umbrella if they wanted to this is really cool. I like this. 
we definitely need fire decorations in this game. All for it. I would love if we had, like, just... you. I, it'd be really cool if you could place those torches. That'd be awesome. Um, this is a really nice fountain. As is this one. And that one. And look, we got a waterfall. I mean, this is not the kind of waterfall that I've been wanting. But it is a waterfall nonetheless. Which gives me hope. <laughs> We've got a big spino boy over here. Spino boy. I think it's kind of weird that they decided to use these little bamboo decorations as the support structure for it. That's a little odd, I'm not gonna lie. But it's still pretty cool. Got pteranodons flying around. That's also a really cool decoration, like, just in general, like, the idea that, you know, we have something other than uh, the land dinosaurs as decoration. It's a shame they didn't give us, um, like, a, a little ichthyosaurus jumping from the water or something like that. And then we've got some amber statues, which are reminiscent of the amber statue from Jurassic World, uh, the game. So that's cool. Those are cool, like, just fun decorative items. We've also got um, some new flags and signs. We've got a Pteranodon and a Mosasaur sign. And I kind of wish that those were more like just general Pterosaur and Aquatic, but you know, whatever. They're, they're still cool. I like them. Um, they'd be cool decorations even if you don't have a Pteranodon and a Mosasaur in your park. They look nice. And then we've got these cool new uh, tour ride and aviary, aviary and lagoon signs. Those are pretty cool too. I am definitely happy about that. Um, no new Jurassic Park signs, but we pretty much have the... We've pretty much got, like, all that kind of stuff anyways with all the signs. Um, and then this is cool. This is a Jurassic World tour ride um, door or gate. <laughs> door, gate, whichever you prefer. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's actually really cool. Um... It's for the gyrosphere or the jeep ride, and uh, you can just attach it as you're going along, just like you would with the OG Jurassic Park tour. Alright, I'm going to pop out of first person mode, just because it is kind of making me a little... I don't know why, but it is kind of making me a little meh. <laughs> Which is weird, because... Um... Uh, capture mode doesn't really do that to me, so I don't know what, what the difference is. Maybe it's just because I'm down on the ground and I'm kind of, like, um, uh, stuck there. <laughs> but, um, these are the new props and stuff, and these look really cool. These are gonna be great. This is, like, exactly what I wanted as far as, like, decorations go. Like, little boxes and stuff like this. Like, that just kind of adds, like, life to your park. You know, you throw a couple of those behind your, your, um your hatcheries or you know your 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 staff buildings and stuff like that and it just looks more realistic it looks like things are going on you know other than just trees and stuff so um we'll take a look at all this stuff real quick We've got um like a crane <laughs> like that's cool i like it that's like that's a neat touch um we've got some barricades which i'm sure i will have some fun with um, especially once mods get fixed, because then I can stick them next to each other, and who knows, maybe we can make enclosures and stuff with those, too, with different kind of walls. This is like a camera, security camera, with solar power, and we've got, uh, this is, these are the two, uh, aviary posts. I really wish they would come up with some stuff to make the lagoons cooler. I really feel like the lagoons kind of get left out. But then again, I'm not sure what you could do with aquatic creatures, but it would be cool if we could even just add more, like, ambient fish, like, rolling around and stuff like that. Um, they've got all kinds of cool cages from the, you know, the various things in Jurassic, uh, Jurassic uh, Park franchise. The Indoraptor cage. And these are the Stegosaurus and T-Rex cages from Jurassic Park 3? No, 2. Lost World. <laughs> I oh, can't remember which one's which. And we've got, of course, got the raptor enclosure from um, the original Jurassic Park. And there is, uh, where is it? I think it's over here. Yes. And then the original raptor cage 
that they try and wheel up to. So that'd be cool. You can probably put it like right up next to the. Let's see. Let's try it and see. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh yeah, the I meant to show you this earlier. The decoration menu has gotten an overhaul. So this is where you can find all the new stuff. We've got signage, foliage, park decorations, and facility decorations. And so in the facility is where you'll find all these cages and stuff. Um, let's see. Oh, we can't do it. Because of the building restrictions. But... All right, so let's see what else we got here. We've got some cool like tents and buildings. Um, this is like a trailer office kind of thing. More tents. I mean, I the ideas I'm getting from like having tents, especially this one because this one looks, even though it's got like stuff in there, those boxes and everything, like that one looks. This one looks almost like a civilian tent. So I'm wondering, you know, I'm getting ideas on what we can do with the civilian tent in the game. Um, Alright, and then we've got, uh, you know, some some cool, like, containers and stuff. Shipping containers. A box, wooden box, fuel even. Uh, and then a bunch of different uh, little containers and... Uh, I think this stuff is great, like it looks good, and I think it will add just nice, realistic touches to uh, the parks. So I am really happy about those. I'm really happy in general with this update, like it's a it's a solid update. It's, these are the new uh, individually placeable trees for this biome. As I said, I th believe I said earlier, I don't know, I had to do a couple takes because I can't talk this morning, but um, if, <laughs> if it doesn't make it into the video, uh, the trees are only usable in specific biomes. It's kind of a bummer, but it was mentioned right off the bat when they announced the update, and I would have kind of expected that anyways. Um, you know, so uh, that's the reason why I'm doing the, the trees last, even though we all know that's like the thing that I wanted most from this update. Uh, so these are the trees. Three big ones, three medium ones, two small ones and uh two bushes and i like them they're great i mean uh, uh why wouldn't i like you know individually placed trees it's awesome and i love them uh, the only to me bummer is that you can't use all of them everywhere so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bounce to the other islands and i'm going to slap down all the trees for those islands as well and we'll take a look at them while i am talking about so just going over real quick the rest of the update. All right, so update two has a lot of quality of life and bug fixes and it, the list is quite long and it's great that they're addressing all these things. I'm not gonna go through everything individually that would take forever and would probably be boring and you can easily look it up at JurassicWorldEvolution2.com or various PlayStation, Xbox, or Steam websites. Um, we already did first person view and um, decorations. The next one is, um, of course, that now pretty much everything is available unlocked in sandbox mode from the beginning before you've done anything. You have fresh new game, you get all that stuff in sandbox, which is great and it should have been like that to begin with. But the only thing that is not available right off the bat in sandbox mode are the skins that you would unlock via challenge mode since those are rewards. And that's understandable. That to me seems perfectly acceptable to not have those skins, but the rest of them will be available right off the bat so that's great um let's see what else all, all the various uh science buildings and stuff like that now have new upgrades there's a lot of them you know it's going to be easiest if you just check those out but they do exist you know um things like just making things cost less being able to add more scientists to be used and uh, things like that um there are new contracts some of the new contracts are have to do with uh, selling dinosaurs, increasing the territory and herd size, uh, building a loon, lagoon or an aviary, cohabiting dinosaurs, completing an expedition, releasing a dinosaur, and photoing mo mo multiple species at once. Um, I don't really play with contracts unless I'm required to do so, so I haven't really noticed what's going on with contracts in the game, to be perfectly honest. Um, but that's cool. Like, if you do play with contracts, that's really awesome um, that they've added new ones, even and simple ones, like building a lagoon or an aviary. 
various bug fixes and improvements have been made to pretty much all of the um, all of the buildings and the facilities and the way that all the stuff works. Uh, more sandbox improvements include the ability to turn expeditions and fossils on and off, which is, that's cool if you want to, you know, have sandbox, the freedom of sandbox with, you know, now with everything available, but you also want to still get your fossils on expeditions and stuff like that. So that's really cool. Um, you can turn research on and off as well. You can adjust your task time so that they are either normal, which is 100%, or they take 75% less time, 50% less time, 25% less time, 10% less time. And that's cool. And that's adjusted in that um, when you pick your sandbox park, if you go to the creative mode, I saw it when I was, um, when I was opening a sandbox park, uh, there's a thing to adjust the task time, so that's really cool. Um, they've also added Jurassic difficulty to money and appeal difficulty, so, you know, if you really, <laughs> if you really want to just make your sandbox mode, like, difficult, that'll do it, and you can turn off the need for scientists. What's cool, what I like, is that instead of just saying you don't need scientists anymore, they gave us the option to turn it off, so if you want to have scientists to, like, you know, assigned to tasks you can if you want that added difficulty or in my opinion that added annoyance <laughs> you can but you can also turn scientists off and that is great and that's that was a really good improvement in my opinion uh let's see some dinosaur behavior changes indominus rex and velociraptors will now share territory that makes more sense just because of the lore that we've been given um dinosaurs may now flee when group attack starts that's great that's really good. Um, like, the fact that a dinosaur would just stand there and allow, like, six raptors to jump on it is insane to me. So I like that. And dinosaurs may charge on group attack start. Fantastic. Prey can now outrun predators if they run out of stamina. That's great. Uh, tweaked iguanodon combat stats. And when a dinosaur throws another during a jump attack, it now does a minimum amount of damage. All right. Sounds pretty cool. So yeah, those are some of the like the major fixes. There's a ton of bug fixes. It looks like like 40 of, or so bug fixes and such. Um, the other big update is of course the um, the the new view for Species Viewer. Um, it is on the main menu, and we will actually go check that out right now. Um, just some of the quick things about it. It allows players to observe their prehistoric species in more detail. You can cycle through various animation examples and all the different skins and patterns. That's really cool. Wish that had been out in the beginning of the game. It would have made showing off skins way easier. <laughs> but whatever. Not a big deal. Uh, and you can alter the position and rotation of the lighting and the color grade. And you can see in here the species name pronunciation. That's awesome as someone who's terrible at pronun uh, you know, pronouncing things. <laughs> so that is really cool. All right, that is going to do it for this update video. Um, I've got a lot of new ideas, you know, spinning up in my head. Probably for the next few days, you're going to see some unmodded content because, you know, as expected with the new update, a bunch of the mods broke. Um, I don't know which ones, and I'm not even going to, like, do, like, a trial thing and see which ones are working and which ones aren't. I'm just going to leave those modded parks alone for right now because, you know, I started the game just to see, just out of curiosity, and it immediately crashed. So I just took off all the mods, and so we'll be doing some unmodded content over the next probably a week or two because it will probably take some time um, to get all those mods fixed, especially since most of them come from uh, Kyadenic. And so that's going to be a lot of work on their part um, to fix whatever they feel like fixing. So um, until then, we will do some unmodded stuff. We'll jump back to the Yosemite Park as well as some other, um, as well as some other stuff that I have in my brain. And we'll check out all the new Cretaceous, or. Uh, Camp Cretaceous uh, dinosaurs as well in the coming weeks. So as always, I appreciate you checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, please do leave a like. If you're new around here, consider subscribing. I'd love to keep you around. And uh, as always, if you want to leave a comment, I always love hearing from you guys. So yeah, this is the start of a brave new world with Sandbox, and I'm looking forward to using all these new decorations. And uh, I will definitely be back with more Jurassic World Evolution 2 real soon. Until then, have a good one.